I want you to think of how you approach the idea of the quality of your health care in this country, in the United States. Uh, for those of you who are uh, watching this from the United States, typically you would ask around to make sure that you had a good doctor. You would try to get a referral from your existing primary care provider, so-called PCP, or you would ask your friends who had been in similar situations and sort of triangulate and figure out who the good doctors were. But you would also have the support of a variety of institutional mechanisms that would ensure that the quality of the doctor that you were seeing was sufficiently high so as to reassure you that your care was being put in a good person's hands. Not just a competent professional, but also a good ethical person. There are lists published um, monthly, annually, semi-annually in the United States on the best doctors and this and that specialty. There are, of course, institutions that are ranked and rated all the time by different commissions of the U.S. government. Uh, there are magazines that specialize in ranking doctors and medical care facilities on a variety of dimensions. Uh, there is a, a veritable cornucopia of different ratings, and you might have the opposite problem that you'd have in other parts of the world, that here there is too much data to base your decision on. But you would not be short of being able to get the right information that you need to make a good choice of a doctor. That information is woefully missing in most parts of the world. Uh, you would, of course, still essentially ask your friends and family to figure out who the good doctors were. But beyond that, you would have much less assurance that the doctor that you're seeing is of acceptably high quality. Now, of course, if you were in the privileged classes, you would find a way around this. But for the vast majority of people in South Asia, in developing countries, it is very hard to access a doctor, let alone worry about the possibility that the, doc that the doctor is not credentialed, is not ethical, is not sufficiently trained, has not had continuing education. These are all niceties that don't even cross the minds of anybody. If there is a doctor with a Red Cross sign outside, that seems to work just fine. This, is, this absence of information is what I refer to as an institutional void. That's a mouthful, but void simply refers to the idea that something is missing. Here, the piece of information that's missing is reliable information about the doctor. How do I find a good primary care provider? How do I find a good gastroenterologist? How do I find a good ophthalmologist? How do I find a good oncologist? Depending on what my need is. It is fiendishly difficult. In a sense, when you peel back uh, the, the complexities and the ethical dimensions and the human dimensions of healthcare, uh, there is a basic elemental need here, which is to bring together people who have something to exchange. Economists would call this buyers and sellers coming together. Here the buyer is the patient. Uh, he, I'm going to use he since I'm thinking of myself, is a buyer of medical services and the doctor is the seller of medical services. Now I realize calling them buyers and sellers uh, isn't the most natural way, um, but bear with me for a second. To get the buyer and seller to come together, we basically need a little bit of information that's credible so that the buyer can find the seller and vice versa. That information is actually so taken for granted in different parts of the world and so completely difficult to engineer in an institutionalized capacity when you stop to think what it takes to make sure that that information is reliable, easily accessible, credible, reproducible, uh, regeneratable, to coin a word for a second, uh, you realize that there's a lot of complexity to it. And when that information is not there, then you have the most basic breakdown. A doctor can't find his patient, and a patient can't find his doctor, and medical care does not get delivered, and that's a problem.